Well, you don't think there's spirit here. Era, this is just something looking at both of these huddles surrounding their respective coaches ready for the kickoff of this game with the Iowa Hawkeyes winning the toss. Interestingly enough, watching the Hawkeyes, they seem to display more emotion here just before the game. There appeared to be more of a calmness and uh, confidence on the Iowa State side. It'll be interesting to see what happens early in the camp contest. And I noticed yesterday, Ara, as we watched them loosen up here on the artificial turf at Kimmick Stadium, that they both, both squads were uptight. Yes, I think so. There was a couple of mistakes made by the Hawkeyes, and they were reprimanded for it. It's going to be an emotional game, and you're going to see, uh, I believe, early in the contest, uh, some great defensive work. The Iowa State kickoff man will be number 98, Scott Pedersen. He'll do the kicking. He will have the wind to his back, the wind at about 15 knots coming from right to left. Kinnick Stadium, named for the late Niles Kinnick, a member of the legendary 1939 Iowa Ironman team, a Heisman Trophy winner, a Phi Beta Kappa, and a great halfback. Every seat is taken. We hope you're comfortable wherever you are and will enjoy this action. We look at Pedersen now, teeing it up on the 40-yard line. Jess Cook, number 28, is deep in uh, single safety for the Hawkeyes. And again, repeating, Iowa in the black jerseys with gold numbers, gold helmets, and on the right, in their white jerseys with cardinal numerals, are the Cyclones from Ames, Iowa. So, when the ball is touched in the field of play, the clock will start resuming a rivalry and long overdue. Pedersen now moving to the ball. Jess Cook looking at it. He's at the five. The clock starts. He comes out to the five. Now the 10, 15, 20. Finds the hole. Good field position. Bouncing out to about the 23 era. That was a good, uh, good kick and a good start. The ball is at the 23-yard line. They've got a long way to go. Well, watch. I think particularly this Iowa State to two tackles defensively and the middle linebacker. There's the backfield. Bob Cummins, 10, 37, Sheeler, 44, Lazar, 28, Jess Cook, who just returned that kick about 18 yards. So the Hawkeyes in the black jerseys, first and 10 at their own 23. The center is Jim Hilgenberg, number 56. Listen to these fans. Hard for the players to hear the signals, I'm sure. Up goes Cook. So Cook now has carried the ball twice. He gained more yardage on the kickoff return. He picked up only one on that last play. So it's going to be a second down and nine for the Hawkeyes. Tom Pritikon did a great job. Number 33 coming up to, uh, to support on that sweep. Swift, Tomasetti, Mayor, Hilgenberg, Ben Scooter, Caladino and Brady are the men up front. Brady, a great pass receiver, number 88, while Jim Swift is the tight end who occasionally is the target for the fresh one. 195 pounds, second and nine. And the stingy Iowa State Cyclone team. It's a third down and seven for the Hawkeyes. The opening series of towns here. Big Ten versus the Big Eight. And the Big Ten completes a pass, and that's a first down for Iowa. Left. He has replaced Mike Brady, giving him a breather. And coming wide now, number 37, Ernie Sheeler. Good. All right, Mike Brady is back in the lineup, second and nine, split to the far side of the field, a double wing formation by the Hawkeye. Cook in motion. A double reverse. And a double reverse by Ernie Sheeler. What the freshman Cummins will do now. Made it, Chris. It doesn't appear. It was nine stations, 67 Dave degrees. Dave Holdsclaw, who has to do the field goal kicking today if the opportunity arises, will punt now. Oh, it falls off the side of his foot. It wasn't what he wanted. Dave Holdsclaw, Clinton, Iowa. Game, four minutes elapsed. We have Terry Rubley, the quarterback, handing off, pounding for a yard 11 from Davenport, Iowa. Second and eight, no score in the game. About ten and a half minutes remain in the first quarter. Dexter Green, their premier runner, the junior from Engel, Cunningham, Stonebrook, and Hickson. Now third and five, the first test of sophomore quarterback Terry Rubley as he sends Solomon in motion to the far side. Here's the first pass. Stan Hickson made it as the wind to his back era. Yeah, you bet. This ought to fly. Dave Becker, 9 and 88. Mike Brady are deep. A high pass. He gets it off nonetheless. End to end. Hard to field. It's Mike Brady. And Mike Brady is hit it inside. The All right. Now from the 24. No score in the game. 9.23 to go. First quarter. Iowa, second time they've had the ball. Double wing. Sheeler blocked. 
Kathy. Ah. Lazar who split into the far side is Doug Dunham. Number 80. Well, the uh, Iowa lineman moved, I think, first. I think it'll go against Iowa. Drawing them offside. There it is. At the far side, Mike Brady, a California product. Cummins, number 10, the quarterback. Sheeler in motion. Lazar carried, and look at the crowd he drew. Those they converted on one of two. The Hawkeyes, no score. A beautiful defensive play on Jesse Cook. Five-yard penalty changed the whole complexion of that series. Tom Buck and Mike Schwartz are deep, awaiting Holds Claw kick. It's a fair catch call for him. And now great field position is Mike Schwartz of Iowa. Bob Cummings, his defender, Cedric Shaw of Newark, New Jersey. Second and 16. And the Iowa Hawkeye defense. What should we call it? Program weights. We got a little unbalanced line here. Yes, Look do. at the overload to the left. That's Solomon in motion to the near side. Third and 13. And a beautiful defensive play by last week he uh, kicked a 63 yarder. Becker and Brady are deep, the B boys. That's Becker. Faking a fair catch, going to the end zone, will come out to the 20, and the Hawkeye. And Hilgenberg is over the ball, and freshman quarterback Bob Cummings calling signals. Lazar behind him, the lone setback, the double wings now in motion. Dennis Mosley, nearest, which will tell you about the uh, frontier days from Cheyenne, Wyoming, as the Roberto Duran lightweight championship bout was canceled, unfortunately. And slipping inside the 10, Jesse, he's at his own nine. They'd have to kick into the wind. Coming. Option going. He's got leverage. Not hunting again with 4-11 remaining in the first quarter. Beautiful. Into the wind, mind you. That is Tom Buck. Uh oh, look Tom out. Tom Buck look gets out. blocking. Look out. He's gone. There he is. Gone. Well, you can see that coming. Tom Buck of Cayuga Falls, Ohio. He is a sophomore. Look at the happiness on the part of the Cyclone from Ohio. Six to nothing. Iowa State leads. Following a beautiful punt, Era. Boy, you could see that coming from up here. You could see if he cracked one man there. He had the whole wall set up. Beautifully executed punt. Right. Barefooted, left-footed, side-wheeler. Scott Coleman of Iowa State and the Cyclones with 3.52 remaining in the first quarter have a 7 to nothing lead here in Iowa City, Iowa. Tom Buck getting the first score in rodeo, the Italian Grand Prix, the women's AU platform diving, and some of the greatest fights ever. That's on Wide World Today. Taking the ball, Jesse Cook at the 5, 10, 15, falling forward to the 23. And the head by their freshman quarterback, Bob Cummings, Jr. From his own 23. Seventy-three pounds in those days. He couldn't play today. Here's his son, 18, weighs 195, number 10. Handing off quickly oh, to Mosley. Mosley, he's got a block. Now he cuts back. He may make it. Mosley. He's gone. Seventy-seven yard touchdown by Dennis Mosley. Going to have a replay. This is a sweep. He cuts it back to the inside. There are a lot of Iowa State players to the outside. Puts a good move on here. I didn't expect this kind of open field play or long run from either one of the two teams. And here in the, just in the last minute and a half, we've had two. Wait, no, and the, on the clock, we've had two scores in 38 seconds, Sarah. Oh. Isn't that beautiful? On a second down and 10, there he is, the sophomore, native of Youngstown, Ohio, the number two tailback in fall practice, a liberal arts major. Mm. He was born in Birmingham, Alabama. 
that the fans in Iowa City, Iowa are happy. Matter of fact, yesterday um, during the practice session, Bob Cummins, the coach, had to stop practice and reprimand, I believe, uh, mostly just momentarily, and he responded well today. And unfortunately for Iowa, Dave Holdsclaw failed on the extra point. So the Cyclones lead by one, seven to six, three fourteen. And if you just joined us, you missed a 63-yard punt return touchdown by Tom Buck of Iowa State. And, let's see, 38 seconds later, Mosley went 77 yards, as now we have Holtzclaw, who missed the point after kicking off to the Cyclone. Tom Buck and Schwartz are deep. Getting the ball, losing his footing, and brought down around their own 11. Ruble, Terry Ruble of Davenport is the quarterback. He's a sophomore replacing injured Mike Tryon. Tapping his fanny was Solomon. And look at that defense up. Think of a title for one. I'll let you design it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, second and ten now for Iowa State, leading by one. Closing moments of the first quarter. Ruble, the quarterback, giving to Green. Right, the I formation behind Ruble, the quarterback. Fumble. The Hawkeyes recover a Rubley fumble. Joe Willis covered the ball. He's the man that made the tackle. Cutting Rubley down was Joe Hufford, number 31, as we look again. Uh, was that Hufford or Hufford? Double wings split into the far side. Mike Brady is number 88. Coming in motion is Mosley. And carrying the ball is Lazard. Second and one now from the 10. Mike Brady is left. I formation. Lazard, touchdown, Iowa lead. A great block by Mike Mayer, number 60. The offensive left guard. And Lazar goes in for the Hawkeyes. They went 19 yards in two plays. Look at the good blocking on the inside. Lazar is a good back. He can really read daylight. To a blow, Iowa. After the second Iowa touchdown from a T formation, Cummings. And they fail. A fine defensive play by Tom Bosky, who has his own fan club. And to become a member, you got to pay a buck. And you get an autographed picture and all sorts of goodies like that. <laughs> Iowa kicking to the Cyclones of the Big Eight. Ray Hardy, 10, 15, 20. Puts his head down Ooh, in the backfield. From the 25, John Quinn is the quarterback. Quinn from De on a sweep. And now Tom Buck, who scored the Iowa State touchdown, is in the lineup. 25. Quinn. Beautiful run by Quinn. Show. First down by Iowa State in this ball game. An earned first down. Dexter Green carrying on the. Daryl Hobbs, 92 of Cedar Rapids, Iowa, where we've been staying for the last two days, made the stop. So it's 12 to 7. The first quarter has ended. Let's take a pause. And here was State moving this time left to right. The beginning of the second quarter, Quinn throws out in the flat, taking his eyes off the ball team. Last week against Northwestern, they gained 214 rushing. Iowa State with the ball. There's Dexter Green. And boy, are they keying on Dexter. Look five and Rick Glavillo, a fine punter, kicking into the wind now here in the early moments of the second quarter. Back deep, Becker and Brady for Iowa. Iowa leading 12 to 7. A fair catch call for a very good idea by Mike Brady, number 88. Let's have the ball for the sixth time. A lot of times in possession, getting it once by a fumble recovery from their own 20. Bob Cummings Jr. has it. And Jesse Cook showing his now from the 27. Iowa with the ball. Dunham to the near side of the field. The split back is number 37, Sheeler. Sheeler has it. Sheeler loses the ball, but it is recovered inbounds. Iowa State may have gotten it. They did. And they did. An alert player grabbed it before, had possession before he slid out of bounds. That was on the far side of the field, and you couldn't, I couldn't see very well whether or not he had possession. Let's take a look at it in replay here after the fumble. Kevin Hart. There it is. The ball up. rolls out. 
Looks like he had possession of the ball. Number 96, the great Illinois All-American, Dick Butkus. So now, from the 27, first and 10 for Iowa State. Quinn throwing. Beautiful catch by the team. Iowa State in the white shirts. There goes Dexter Green. Cummins blocking for him. Dixon in a short split to the left. Solomon in the slot. Now in motion toward us. Second and 11. Quinn. And here is Green on that option. Oh. Last time I saw it. And prior to that, Doak Walker hit Bobby Lane. So I've seen it three times now. And Quinn is smothered at the 26. 17. A 42-yard kick into the wind. Side wheeling it up. It's on its way. It's it's good. Just barely made it, it looks like. That is a hot cold. Moves to the football. Oh no, it was Scott Pedersen. Bringing the ball down, number 21 started the game and who has engineered a good, varied attack. Hands off to Lazar, the fullback, and Lazar, he is a very and 10 minutes, 51 seconds remaining in the first half. Jesse Cook coming from the far side. Upended near the line of scrimmage. No guys have converted on one of six. Mosley, number 18, is in the lineup. Third and two. You got it. They're so going for it here. Look at here. Look at a straight T, the old powerhouse formation. Boy, is that going to be close. Two officialing for a measurement. Oh, sure, because if they don't make it, they'll just take the ball. Dunham, the split end to the near side of the field. Double wing formation. Beautiful catch by Arco Payne, bringing it out to the 21. Black White was shaken up on the last play. Third and 22. Iowa leading 12-10. Everybody covered. We'll have a chance to punt downwind. Fourth down and 23. The snap from the 19. Keeps it low. Looking at it is Tom Buck who returned one 63 yards earlier for a touchdown. It's hard to believe. There's a surprise. Second down and eight now for Iowa State from the Iowa 49. Quinn looking, whistles blown. Yes. And Where the rotation means a legal step to the far side of the field. Hickson, the split end to the near side. Quinn. Second fumble recovery by the Hawkeyes, who are fired up for this fray today. Shanty Burks, number 49, as we look at it once more. What a game. You see here, you see here on the replay that Iowa went into five defensive backs, and they still completed a pass. And here's the fumble right there. It comes out, and it's Iowa's ball. And it was Dexter Green, the ball what? people. Bob Cummings, Jr., the quarterback, slot formation, high in the backfield. Get out! Dennis Mosley shaken up on that last play, so the two Iowa fullbacks are hurt. From the tailback position, Mosley care from the 46, third and four for the freshman quarterback. Terrific move by Mosley. Play or whether they'll play it conservatively. They're playing it con conservatively. From the T formation. First down. First and ten at the Iowa State 48. Spinning forward. So this rivalry. All right, second down and seven from the 45. Missouri's right, and he's 232. He's a big one. 6'1", he's a sophomore. The fourth Iowa fullback on a third and seven. Knocked down by number 61. Tom Buck and Mike Schwartz are deep for Iowa State with two minutes remaining in the first half. 
fake fair catch signal, and it goes through the end zone. It'll be a touchback. Don Meredith rejoins Cosell, Howard, that is, and uh -oh. Gifford. Beautiful run. Finally, deep back. 11 yards on the play. First and 10 from the 31. Not this and time. Green again. Number 7 now for Iowa State. A minute 22 remaining in the first half. Iowa leading. 12, 10. Dexter Green for three or four yards. Third down and eight. 46 seconds to go. He's got it. Oh. And a rusher. Rick Babalillo is doing the punting. Yeah, One they, man back. It's a dandy, too. Dave Becker has it. And Becker comes out to the... Double wing. Oh, An interception my. with 24 seconds on the clock. 22. Kevin Hart intercepted for the Cyclones. Number seven. And making the tackle was the man who threw it. Bob Cummings, Jr. Well, there's, there's the uh, turnover that we talk about. There's 17 seconds left to go. Let's take a look at it uh, again. Cumming runs a bootleg type pattern. He fakes a sweep to the left, comes out to the right, throws the ball. Really, that's probably the only time this half that he's used bad judgment in throwing the ball. His receiver was covered. And now Iowa State has the ball. At the 42 of Iowa. Quinn. came out the wrong head by one right so this is a tough battle they've hit hard a lot of aggressiveness as Ray Hardy 29 is on the far side Buck is on the near side the kick coming to Hardy three. at the 11 15 good blocking 20 25 look out, look out 30 35 the quarterback is freshman John Quinn number 18 handing off to Dexter Green that. And amply filling in the freshman Bob Cummings Jr. Another freshman Quinn pitching out a loose ball and no, they didn't have possession of the ball. I was all way back at the 29 from the eye. It's a second down and 20. Got running room. John Quinn. 14 now for Iowa State, trailing by two from their own 34. Quinn. Knocked down by number uh -huh. 92, Daryl Hawks decreased in velocity. Becker and Brady are deep. Uh -huh. oh, just, just got it. it off. Fair catch call for by Dave Becker. Iowa getting the ball now. First and 10 from their own 27, leading 12-10, third quarter. 14-22 to go. Cook. Oh, oh. what a tackle. Kate only 25. Cummings to Dennis Mosley. To the fullback, and then the option executed by Cummings has been very successful all afternoon. Third down and six. Uh -oh. Cook going out. Number 91 is Jim Swift. Depends on where they end. spotted. Quarter. 12 to 10 to score. Iowa leading a high pass. Good block. He gets it off. Oh. Tom Buck is hit on the button. Got possession and then body presidents. The Big Eight, a close-knit family. One of their representatives, Iowa State with the ball. First and ten from the 27, trailing by... All right, second down and nine. Iowa State. Interference call against the defense. A first down for Iowa State. They gained about 20 yards. First and ten. And Dexter Green carries the second down and ten. Freshman John Quinn. Third and ten now. And did he pull it out of the air? An interception by a Hawkeye. 
looks like number 31. Was, was it Joe Hufford, one of the linebackers? Well, it was difficult to see as so many Iowa players. Let's watch. Here's a replay. Great. It's nine. I think it's Becker, isn't it? Dave Becker? Right. That it is. Dave Becker pulls it down, and the man cheering was Hufford. Super interception on that. The fourth turnover now for Iowa State. Tough break. First and ten from the 44 of Iowa. Quick handoff to Jive on the double wing formation, leading 12 to 10. Freshman Bob Cummings calls signal. And the fullback, Lazar, brings it up near mid. Production rate is pretty good. <laughs> yeah. <Iowa>. Two to one. <laughs> Two to one. <laughs> Third down at four. From midfield, Iowa with the ball leading 12-10, third quarter. Good defensive work on Dennis. They'll do the punting into a slight freeze. Oh, here's a dandy. Fair catch called for by Tom Buck, number their own 14. Yep. 8.49 to go, third quarter, second and 10 from the 14. And Dexter Green, 18. They have yet to convert on a third down. Uh, 10 mile an hour following win now. Labelo's kick is low, taking that forward bounce. Inside the 35 of the University of Iowa. With many, many scores. From the 32 now, Bob Cummings Jr., the quarterback. The fullback, wide open. Lazar, John. Cummings. Wow. Den Third and seven. You think defensively. Old squaw. Kicking beautifully. A fair catch called for by Tom Buck at his own 24. Five, trailing by two. 6.06 remaining in the third quarter. Dexter Green on fine ball handling by Solomon in. Stepping out for a first, yet gained 85 yards in the first half. First and 10 from the 37. 32, Cal Cummins. I haven't given him the ball much in this ball game. Second and six, Quinn. There is Mickey Leafblatt. Third and two. Excellent punt. Winger. Becker at the 15. The ball is just across the 20 of Iowa. What a competitor. Injured in the feet. Yeah. With desire. Of the 33 first down. Double wing. Markle Payne. In the that leverage in the corner. That was Mosley. Gary. In the first three periods of this game. Second and six. Arkel Payne. Third down. Try. Third and three. Not enough for the... They'll get the wind in the fourth quarter. Dave Holdsclaw. Punting for the Hawks. Keeping it low. Buck. And that Iowa leads 12-10. Quinn to Cal Cummins. From the eye, second down and eight for Iowa State. Dexter Green. First hit by John Hardy 
and number. Of course, Iowa is dominating the game in yardage. With the exception of that 77-yard run, 193 to 68. But the impressive thing is, I don't believe Iowa State had any yardage at all in the second uh, or the third period. Guys leading by two with 14-17 left in the game. First and ten from the 25. The starter, Bob Cummings Jr. A loss of five. A be a holding call. That's generally what it is. There right it is. is. Look at this. First and, first and 25 from the 10. And popping out of there was Lazard. A second and 19 from their own 16, Iowa. Looking for Brady. He was covered. Tom Bob Cummings Jr. calls for a little silence. to break away was Jesse Cook. Punt is important. Snap coming from the 12. Oh, he's got a good one. That's a good one. That's right. Coming back to the 48. Good coverage. And the down on Buck is at Iowa territory. First and 10 from the 45. Quinn. Nailed for a loss by one of the 48. Rick Babalil, the punter. Well, they're going to have tough field position again. Oh, bad mistake. I think they should have fielded it. Yeah, it's one of those. Snapping it from their own 13. And Arful Payne. Number 50 score here in the second half. Last score came at 11.33 of the second quarter. A 42-yard field goal by Iowa State. Cummings. And Mosley hemmed in. Draw. Arkel Payne. Number 15 yards. The snap from about the 10 instead of the 12 as previously. Gets one out, a very one. fine kick at the 49. And they have yet to capitalize on an opportunity. We'll return with more action. Guys lead 12 to 10. Iowa State with the ball at the Iowa 49, first and 10. Quinn, the quarterback, hiding that ball. And picking up three yards on the play. To the near side in the slot, John Solomon. Dexter Green. Cal Cummins, second down at five. Cummins, 42 yards in the second quarter. Dexter Green, he got it first down. Same Cyclones, high formation, a wing to the far near side. Keeping it on the ground, Cummings, an eight from the 25 for Iowa State. Dexter Green losing his footage. spot for the holder Kevin Hart is the 34 plus the 10 of the end zone here's the side wheeler it's up it's done its way it's short and to the right 44 yards no good and the ball will come up okay now from the 20 Cummings number 10 Arkel Payne is the fullback blocking to no avail the ball is at the 17 of the Hawkeyes. Got leverage. That's Cook on the move, and he's nearly got away with it. First down here. Straight T formation. Mark Settle. Good snap. Back to the 29. Tom Buck has it. Good tackle. Four times before ball 
first down at their own 26. And Stan Hickson is in the lineup to the near side of the field. And freshman Quinn has the ball. Losing it. Still loose. And number 75, John Hardy, that big freshman, finally brings it in after Dean Moore knocked it away. <laughs> Look at this crowd wow. and that team. Wow. There he is, number 75. That credit must go to Dean Moore for making it all possible. Number 85 and Hardy, number 75 from Sioux City. Got the handle on the ball now with a minute 12. And the University of Iowa Hawkeyes with a two-point lead have the ball at the Iowa. Only one play turned the tide following a Iowa 57-yard punt. And now the Hawkeyes have it back of a 13 of Iowa State. First down. Leading by two. Coming up to the one-minute mark of this game. Second down at 10 now from the 13. Iowa leading by two. A minute and two seconds left in the game. Trying to run out the clock, preserving the ball. In this game, they will bleed the clock now. Iowa State using all their timeouts, three in each half. We'd like to thank the Iowa State Athletic Director, Lou McCullough, head coach Earl Bruce. With 12 seconds remaining. It is third down. There's a delay of the game penalty. There's the illegal delay of the game penalty, five yards. Seconds left in the game. Iowa State has run out of timeouts. Well, championship fight, plus diving. Okay, going for broke is Quinn, trying to get to the sideline to Hickson. Hickson has it, but he couldn't get out of bounds. Two seconds left, one. The game is over, and the underdog has won it. 12 to 10. Battle of the Big Eight representative and the winners from the Big Ten, Iowa. The final score, the University of Iowa Hawkeyes, 12, Iowa State Cyclones, 10. We'll be back. By the narrowest of margins, and there's still feverish pitch here in this interstate rivalry era, very dangerous thing, knocking down those uprights and carrying them into a crowd of people. It is dangerous. Uh, they're excited, but uh, I guess we knew from the offset it was going to be that kind of game. 12 to 10, Iowa winning it. The executive producer of NCAA football is Rune Arling. Today's coverage of the Iowa State-Iowa game was produced by Doug Wilson, directed by Roger Goodman, technical director Dick Siley, associate director Howard Shapiro. This is Chris Shankle along with Era Parsigian saying so long from Kinnick Stadium in Iowa City. Our thanks to Rick Bernstein and our spotter, Bill Friel. Be sure to join us later today at 4 Central, 4.30 Mountain Time for ABC's Wide World of Sports featuring the World Lightweight Championship, Roberto Duran versus Edwin Baruch, live from Philadelphia Spectrum. Also, the Women's National AAU Platform Diving Championship from Woodlands.